music in my background and that music has been going since nine o'clock last night and I have not slept. So I, I just contacted Airbnb and I'm waiting on them to get back with me for resolution. Hey guys, so I'm all packed. I'm headed to Atlanta for the weekend. This is crazy because this is my shoe bag. Don't judge me. It's first thing in the morning. I ain't got my face beat yet. And I'm actually driving down, which means it's going to be a, a 10 hour ride by my dang self. So um, once I get it all together, I'll be back. Hey guys, so I just got my makeup done and I got it done by Joy. Uh, I'm headed to get these to get my butt to Atlanta. So I'm about to put my phone down so I can stop filming safety first and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so they don't have to wear their mask down here. That's a little scary. See, this is why I'm glad I drove. Not even the little people. Nobody is in the mask down here. That's a little scary. Thank you so much for checking me out. If you are a return subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you for continuing to watch. Um, if you have not, please like and or subscribe and drop a hi in the comments. All right, drove down here. I like driving because I like the scenery for one. Um, and two, it's Rona season. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Uh, one, it's Rona season and just for safety, I've touched on this in videos past. Um, my, sorry, I'm blocking the camera. My daughter has a suppressed immune system and right now she's away at school, but by the time I get back, she um, will be coming home for some things. So it's not the best to for me to fly and then try to quarantine myself for 14 days, whether um, it's something or nothing to be quarantined for 14 days and then just all the extra that goes along with flying there's just like way too much equipment that i have to have um which you'll see that later because i have to get it set up um at my airbnb so just got to atlanta um i'm tired i'm getting ready to have dinner have some wine and just unwind for the evening i'm so. actually celebrating my birthday a little bit early shout out to all those scorpios and um, i'm doing cupcakes and cocktails uh on saturday so today is thursday so by the time you guys see this footage i'll probably be back hey guys all right so i finally made it to my airbnb Whew. not all airbnbs are created equal I will talk about that a little bit later. So um, I'm gonna take a quick tour of the place. Bedroom, washer and dryer. Totally amazing open floor plan. So this is why I picked the Airbnb because um, I'm having company over. <laughs> um, but yeah, my friends and I are gonna celebrate. Uh, like I said, we're gonna kick it for my um, birthday we're gonna have cupcakes and cocktails and we're just gonna chill out tomorrow so i need enough space for everyone to be able to come and be six feet apart and also enjoy themselves so this is the airbnb guys um it's cute uh if i were to rate it the overall aesthetics i would give it a eight i like the layout but um i wouldn't give it a 10 because of the hassle i just went through trying to get my behind through the front door so i'm getting ready to unload my car set up my equipment and catch some of this daylight so i can record a bit and get set up for everything all right guys um oh my goodness i think i left my cupcakes i mean my cookies in the car <sighs> Oh my goodness, I gotta show you guys my cookies. I don't know where she put them. I emptied out my car and I don't see my cookies, but sorry, that was brain fire. So, hey guys, I finally got to my Airbnb. My brain is off. Finally got here to my Airbnb. If you are just change of weather and scenery, sorry, there's a garbage truck going by in the background. Um, but I just came by for like change of scenery and it's still nice weather here in Atlanta. Uh, and 
it's already raining and cold up north. So I just want to come down before all of the weather set in with us still having COVID, not really traveling um, on airplanes or things of that nature. So I drove down and that's a 10 hour drive. <laughs> so I drove down and I am having some friends over today and then tomorrow is cupcakes and cocktails with my friends. I'm really excited about that also. And then Sunday is my good friend who made my cookies. It's her birthday, so I'm gonna spend some time with her. It's her actual birthday. Like I said, mine is next month. And then Monday, I hit the road and go back home. So that is that, that's, that's everything in a nutshell. So right now I am near downtown. I'm pretty much downtown, I think. I haven't lived here in so long. So yeah, I'm kind of close to downtown. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like a block from Peachtree Street, but that means nothing because there's a million Peachtree Streets down here. So, um, but really quickly, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Let me move this chair out of the way. Um, me being a roomie girl, I believe that my core client is hip stylish. She can be young, she can be mature, because I don't like to say older. Um, she can be mature. So I think that she has a certain zhuzh or pizzazz about her. So what I have started to do in these series is when I create content, I just come up with the look of the day. And I want to start sharing those looks with you because let me tell you, I am not the fashion expert. Like my ex, did my shopping and picked my clothes for me, okay? And I guess I was grateful for it because he loved what he liked to see me in, which helped because it was always nice looking. But <laughs> I don't have that, um, I don't have that anymore. So I have to just create it on my own, right? So here is my outfit of the day. And I'm sorry, I've been ripping and running all day. So I might look a little out of whack. So let me just gather myself really quickly and let me show you my outfit of the day so let me let me see if i can step all the way back okay now i have a pear shape frame i don't know if you're familiar with the pear shape but if you know what a pear looks like a pear is kind of small on top it bowls out and then it comes back in so i am like a thin a-line frame shape and that doesn't help me when I'm shopping, because I can't do the Fashion Nova, Nova thing, because I'm just not that frame person. But I like cute clothes. So, um, this outfit is inspired, and I will put it in the video. I'll just drop a picture in the video. So this outfit is inspired by um, a look that I saw. And let me give you a full look, because I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> that is my ring light that I just uh, tripped over. So let me show you the full. All right, so you can kind of see me if you look in the mirror. So my entire outfit is a nice jean top. It's a long sleeve jean top, but I roll the sleeves up. Um, I found a nice leather belt that was in my closet. It does not fit in the waistband thingy <laughs> so it's big enough that it kind of sits out so i just let it kind of sit out and then my pants these are from express right so i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna post the outfit at the top in here somewhere because that outfit probably cost way more than what i paid for my entire ensemble and then these shoes which are black patent leathers with beautiful sparklies in them and they're red on the bottom they're called vulcan and so I think these are pretty sexy. So this is the closest that we're going to get today to some red bottoms. So if you don't want to pay red bottom prices and look just as nice, I got these from DSW for about 30 bucks. All right. So um, I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day. I think this is a really good look um, with my hair pulled back on the side. I am wearing mink brazilian this is my second install with this loose wave hair so this is mink brazilian if you have not checked out mink brazilian make sure you go on remygirls.com we're updating the site but you can still find it it's under our red label or it'll probably say iconic mink on the website but yes i'm wearing our mink brazilian hair and i'm wearing a frontal 
and it was styled by none other than the hair genie and i'll make sure i'll drop her um in this video as well so that is my look of the day guys um i'm going to grab my cookies because i have no clue where she stuck my cookies and i want to make sure <laughs> that no one eats them all up i want my cookies because they're my cookies <laughs> but yeah um yeah so this is the place and we'll be hanging out here for the next couple days so again, all right guys so it is 5 30 in the morning and i am just recording this because i might be um leaving out of my airbnb uh today and switching to a new spot and i had picked this spot because it was just perfect for what i was trying to do but you can hear the music in my background and that music has been going since nine o'clock last night and I have not slept. So I just contacted Airbnb and I'm waiting on them to get back with me for resolution because even though the place is cute, I can't sleep and I cannot go four days without sleep and then drive back 10 hours. So um, yeah, this, this is, this is madness right now. Um, I will keep you guys updated on what's going on. Hopefully they can put me in a better spot for the next couple days. <sighs> ATL shouter. I see you. <laughs> for a minute. I see you. This is my brother, y'all. He always talking crap. What's up, y'all? Uh, my sis got the 4K Sony. The, uh, the, this, the, this is the big time. Y'all probably can see the, the, the veins in my, the, the Dell. <laughs> no, I'm talking. How you doing, man? I'm back. I'm ready to go for the evening. Uh, I am having friends over. I'm having friends over for this evening and we're gonna have some drinks, have some cupcakes, have some cocktails and just enjoy each other's company. Shout out to Jazzy Ole. This is my t-shirt from her t-shirt company. I don't know if you all can see it but it says this is a designer t-shirt and it uses Ariel and it's black. <laughs> So that is my t-shirt from Jazzy Olay. Make sure you go follow her at Jazzy Olay um, on Instagram. I will place her handle in this video. But yeah, I'm done up. Shout out to Beats by Judy who beat this face today. Thank you so much. Because the day that I've been having today, I just needed the rest of everything to go smooth <laughs> and it still had its bumps, but it'll be okay. We're here now. So, all right guys, I'll catch you all in a bit. Okay, like I'm over it. So if you're looking at the space that I'm in right now, uh, yeah, um, earlier in the footage, I had on my coat and my scarf and I was looking completely different. And then on another part of the video, it switched to a whole nother location. And now I'm here. So, Airbnb, nice open loft type of Airbnb. And I don't know if you all could hear the music in the earlier clip when I'm standing there with my coat on, but I rented an Airbnb. It was downtown. And if you're familiar with Atlanta or you live here or you've been to the place that I'm getting ready to mention, you'll know what I'm talking about. So my law was two doors over from Brooklyn's Kitchen and Brooklyn's Kitchen is a restaurant lounge type of place and it's two doors over and the two doors between my door and, and their door is not far at all. It's not even 200 feet from each other. I read this place, the description of the Airbnb, I'm going to drop that in there as well because what? Who going to check me? I read this place because I wanted to have enough room for all of my guests to be able to come and enjoy themselves but have space to be able to social distance because we are still in quarantine. Um, that's why I booked it. Really nice open floor plan, very open and airy. They nobody had to worry about being on top of each other and having the concerns of of coming out. I knew that my friends cared enough to come celebrate with me for my birthday weekend, and so I wanted to make the space for them inviting enough, but give them enough space so that they would be able to feel comfortable 
um, sharing time with me, but at a safe social distance from anyone else that was coming. Friday night, I got there, Friday afternoon. Um, the music started at like nine o'clock at night. So I'm thinking, all right, music is going to play for a while. It's a lounge. I'm under the impression that the music will probably stop at midnight or something. I had been on the road all day the day before. And so I was like, all right, this is probably going to end in a little while. 12 o'clock comes around, music still playing. I try to go back to sleep. Two o'clock, music still playing. Three o'clock, four o'clock. 4.30, I'm just living. I'm calling Airbnb and I'm asking the people on the phone, like, do you hear this? Like, it's like, boom, 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 boom. I'm talking about every hot song out on the radio. You can hear it. My floor vibrating, my equipment's vibrating, everything. And the operator person, he's like, yeah, I can hear the music. I'm like, this is my Airbnb. And what the person did not explain about this this Brooklyn's Kitchen, and no shade to Brooklyn's Kitchen, it was a dope spot, but they're open seven days a week, and they have a live DJ, and they're open from like 3 p.m. No, no, no. Their hours are from 6 p.m., with the exception of like Friday and Saturday. They're open from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., so they have live music the entire time. And on the weekend, of course, it's almost like a club. So here in Atlanta, when the clubs let out anywhere between 2.30 and 3 o'clock in the morning, where do they go? They go to Brooklyn's Kitchen. And so it's nonstop. That was not explained in the Airbnb description. It said when the lounge is open, you may hear music. May hear music and we're open seven days a week slapping no those are two different things so when i called the airbnb and i was like i need out of here i haven't slept i need to cancel this reservation well the lady and i'm going to put that information in the video uh she's like well you can cancel she responds back at 9 a.m mind you this was 4 30 in the morning when all of this started she responds back at 903 or something like that i was like well you can cancel i'll give you half of your money back and you just have to vacate the premises at 10 a.m. First of all, we're not doing that. This is not how you handle business. You can't tell me 45 minutes I have to vacate and you're only going to give me half and I haven't even been in this location for 12 hours. At this point, forget what your policy is because that's about to go out the window. You didn't handle this properly. You did a bait and switch because what you told me I was supposed to receive, I didn't. I was willing to deal with some noise because some noise when the lounge is open, I get that. I get it's downtown. I'm going to hear some noise. There's some atmosphere. But take the club and and sit it underneath my loft. This is my loft and this is the club because the walls shook all night. That is not, you may hear some noise. So she tried it. Yes, she tried it. And they tried to give me a little bit of money back and Airbnb didn't want to help me out. And so I said, don't worry about it. The pen is always mightier than the sword. Don't worry about it. My daughter is a journalism major. She's a great writer. Don't worry about it. I have all of my paperwork. I have the screenshots. I have everything. And the calls are being recorded. And they heard the music. Don't worry about it. I have access to YouTube. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So... That is what happened with my Airbnb, guys. And I know as you've watched the um, footage that I've played, it, when you play it back, you'll see me in different locations. So with me being displaced that day, I had to literally switch over to a spot that was way smaller but still try to accommodate my friends. I ended up getting some place that I thought had a really nice size floor plan. And I get there and it was just ugh. I didn't like it and I'm not bougie. I just like what I like. <laughs> That's how I, I present it. I'm not bougie. I just like what I like. 
and I didn't like it but time wasn't on my side by then and if you look in my other video you'll be able to see what I mean I, I'll probably try to post a clip um, of the space that we had and the guy was really nice about it he let me check out the very next day um, and after I checked out there I end up coming finally to the Hyatt Hotel and this is where I have been ever since. So it has been one crazy weekend here in the A. I love Atlanta. Uh, like I said, I've lived here for years. I've moved back north for family reasons and I always come back because I have great family and great friends here as you all have probably seen in my other video. But yeah, I just had to share that with you because that was crazy and I, I don't handle business like that. Like you should always uphold integrity and say what it is. Allow a person to make a well-informed decision, but you can't say a lounge may be open and we know it's basically a bar after hour club type situation that's open seven days a week. Like, come on now. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for uh, <laughs> listening to my rant. I love you all. Yeah. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you are a return viewer, thank you so much for coming back and seeing what else I got going on over here.